Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome back to part 43, <laughs> I think, of uh, my ongoing Dark Souls series where I am trying to prove that I can count higher than 42 and that I can and will beat Dark Souls despite being pretty terrible with a controller and at action games in general. I was debating at the end of our last installment whether we should come back to the bonfire and my first thought was only for the uh, souls I was carrying and whether it was worth leveling up. Now we will go ahead and do that, but that is not my main purpose in coming back. So let's go ahead and we've now hit 35 on dexterity, which is great. Um, but there's another reason I wanted to do this. I remembered that I'm pretty sure you can summon Solaire to fight the centipede demon and of course I can only do that if I'm human and while I haven't done uh, well any summoning of human players I uh, I try to summon Solaire when I get the chance I enjoy fighting with him and I think he uh, will be some help in that fight so let's go ahead we'll get back up to 10 humanity really quickly And then, you know what I have not done? I'll try to remember when I get there that I even need to do this. Uh, I have really never used uh, these resins, you know. Uh, but I think I'll try going into the fight with the centipede demon. Oh, before I get there, let's do this. Let's get my ring of fog back on, huh? Uh, but what I was going to say is I'll, I'll try... Uh, you know, juicing up this weapon with some lightning. Now, I think what I'm going to try to do... Eh, maybe I won't. I was going to say, maybe I'll just try to run through these guys. That's probably pushing my luck. And they're really easy to kill, so... Uh, at least with a plus 15 Uchi Katana. I suppose if all you had was a plus 5 fire sword or something it might be a lot harder okay uh, I do not want to fight this guy oh I actually rolled into it huh I got lucky because I really screwed up that dodge <laughs> but it is better to be lucky than good and I am not often lucky that's okay, because I'm not often good either. So it, it balances uh, or not. So this is going to be a little more challenging, because I don't really have a great place to dodge to, although that worked out. All right, we got him. We got him. Uh, I did confirm, though, because I all of my attacks were two-handed that time. Oh, this guy. Okay, hold on. I need to um, equip the crossbow, so it's going to be down. Uh, I did lose the train of thought of what I was saying, so I'm not going to worry about it. I got to tell you, I have no idea how tough these guys are if you fight them straight up, but I really like fighting them this way. And uh, it's very effective. It takes you a minute. I should go a little slower. I mean, I don't see anything above me, but it feels like there's going to be more. That's what... Oh, God. Really? Okay, this is bad. Oh, my God. He's literally eating me. So I'm just trapped in between these guys? Really? Alright, well... Uh, I don't know what else I could have done there. I, I think trying to go between the two was the right move. And um, just before I could get all the way out, he, he tagged me with that acid. Alright, I, uh, I will rejoin you when I get back over there.
Okay. So he's dead without any of that fluky crap. I want to see... Nah, this is a bad idea. Let's get away. Back to the crossbow. So... I did unfortunately lose my humanity and all that, um, thanks to kind of a fluke. But now I don't know exactly where these other things... Okay, I hear something. Oh, no. I thought they were coming down. I feel like what I... Yep. I need to just, like, get out like that. Now, we're going to kill him. I mean, this is definitely a situation where when you don't know it's coming, oh my gosh, it's just so lethal. Uh, if you do know and you can plan for it, then it's not really a big deal. Uh, I mean, I've got my bow. I could have used that too, but this is just so much quicker and easier than screwing around with the aiming. I see the bow as being good if I need one for truly long range where I can't get target lock. Uh, but since these guys are just sitting ducks, as long as you're not close to them, I'm, I'm very content to do this. I think this would be extremely difficult doing in melee with that spit. Um, and then the biting thing they do where they're just kind of eating you whole my gosh alright so we got some green titanite that we really have no use for whatsoever if this is a mimic I'll be beyond pissed <laughs> a oh okay so now maybe I can get my plus five balder sword so that it isn't completely worthless huh so you know what I don't know is where I'm supposed to go next is there some sort of branching path it's certainly not down there huh Huh. Um, yeah, I don't know. Kill this guy really quickly. Huh. Yeah, I mean, this is not a path. <laughs> this is death. And I feel like we looked over there already. We is it is it off of the um, the room where we killed the fire sage demon? I didn't think so. But. I mean, it's not over here, right? I'm not just losing it. By the way, yeah, I am human right now. I just want to make sure. I just need to be careful. Um, we need to take a certain path into Lost Isolith, and my fear is if I go through the room where we killed the the demon I'm gonna muck that up and it's very important for uh, Solaire's storyline that I not muck it up Oop. Ah, I got greedy I thought I could Wow what an idiot I just completely screwed that fight up. Sheer impatience and stupidity. 
Okay, Taurus Demon. Hmm. You know, when I don't fight with my head jammed up my butt, it works better. Okay, that is the path that we took. And I don't see any sort of branching path. I already went over there by the Capra Demon, and all it got me was uh, a shiny, which is great. So... Uh, didn't remember these guys. Did not remember them. Let me uh, equip, or not equip, but go two-handed. I learned that I can I can one-shot these guys that way, which is really nice. So, okay. Part of me wants to come down here and at least do enough to make sure I save Solaire before I keep going. Sorry for uh, the kind of hard cut there. Uh, after heading in this way, I I ended up not, uh, how can I say this, not going deep enough. I, I've spent a fair amount of time wandering around looking for where we need to go. Uh, I actually think I know now, uh, but we haven't gotten there yet. So, hopefully, this will be the end of my little search. I feel like uh, sometimes when I'm looking for a path, I'm not too smart about it. We're going to try cutting through these guys. Thankfully, they're pretty easy as long as you don't get stuck with, uh, you know, taking a face full of their flame breath. Okay, so there's a shiny behind this guy. Okay. Yeah, all right. So this I want to unlock. All right. Now I am I'm just gonna write it right back down. So that's kind of nice. Now we have a shortcut from an area where we have a warpable bonfire. Now we're gonna go back down. Uh, this isn't going back down, is it? <laughs> uh, apparently that's not the way we came in. I see. Hmm. Awkward that I don't remember, huh? Now, this isn't... Hold on. Is this the path? Yeah, okay. This is the path. Uh, I don't want to keep going the other way. We're going to come down here. And then there was a stair where we very first came in that went down. And we're going to take that. Uh, now, I also realized uh, that I had not restored my humanity after the last time we died. So I've done that now. Do I want this bonfire? I think so. If I'm going to fight that demon. The centipede demon, I mean. Then I would want that. I don't see any shinies up here. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't seem like I am. So I believe this is where the centipede demon is. I sure hope so. Is there anything back here? Um, hmm. 
Doesn't seem like it, huh? Okay. Well, I can do a little deeper. Seems weird that they have this big area and it's just literally nothing but tree trunks or roots, but uh, I guess that's what it is. Now, is there a summoning sign for Solaire? Because this doesn't look like Solaire to me. Oh, it is. His is usually more white. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll bring Solaire. At least that confirms, too, that um, this is, in fact, a boss gate and not me entering... Uh, like Lost Isolith, which I don't want to do yet. Okay. Um, so just so you can see, I tweaked my equipment a little bit. I re-equipped my heater shield. And, um, oh, I don't have a ring. So, let's see. I'll go stone plate to protect me from fire. That should help a little. And then... Maybe Claranthe, just to get some endurance back a little quicker. That always seems good to me. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to try and get over here. Um, God, can I live through this jump? Yes. I just got hurt. But hey, I've been hurt before. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Solaire. Let's get him over here. We got a little room. Okay. Not much to do now, but wait, huh? He's moving on boss time. Yep, I sensed that a ranged attack was coming. Yeah, I need to pull him in more. Okay, I think that's good enough. No, nope, back away. I'm back away again, but I was too slow. You know what I need to do is not target lock this guy. <gasps> I went into the lava. Get out. Get out. Okay. If I can find a quick mo here to... Okay. I think the roll kept me from most of that damage and I dodged way too early. Okay. Ah, he jumped. I'm realizing that I don't know this guy's attacks well at all. Okay. Actually wasn't bad. Let me go two-handed here. Because I'm not really doing uh, blocks at all. Okay. Can I... We got him. Wait. What's happening? Very difficult to see. Whoo! All right. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Solaire. As always, I appreciate it. Very cool. Uh, yeah, a couple times there, thought I was in uh, pretty deep trouble, but we got out of it. I don't think there's anything in here. Now, I did get that ring. 
And if I'm not mistaken, uh, that's the one that helps you go through, yeah, lava very specifically. Well, then I guess I don't need a homeward bone, right? Yeah, because I basically don't take damage running through lava now. So there's nothing out here, right? Like, I'm not missing anything. That's not a, uh illusionary wall, is it? Because it does kind of have that look. Mm, guess not. Yeah, I'm... What about over here? Is this where I came in? No, that's where I came in, isn't it? Oh, this is probably the path to Isolith that I keep worrying about. Alright. Let's not do that. I'm not going to spend more time in the lava than I need to. Actually, I'm pretty sure I remember hearing that um, it does still do the damage to your equipment that it would normally do. It's only, you know, your person that's protected. Um, so... The one thing we do still need to do out in that lava field. Oh, there is a shiny. Look at that. Boy, I sure tried hard to see it on the way down and I, I couldn't. So it doesn't look like I can get back. Uh, I think I better heal. Because <laughs> this could be a lethal drop. I hope not. Wow. Questionable that I'm standing on anything here. <laughs> but thank you, Dark Souls. I'll take it. Um, yeah. It helps a little bit make up for some of the times where uh, things kind of went the other way and I got stuck on some piece of terrain or... Uh, I actually repaired equipment a little... Okay. Well, at least... Oh, hold on. Let me just check my armor. Yeah, you know what? It's none of it's badly hurt. Uh, so maybe what I'll do... Let me think. I guess... I don't know that I could easily warp back here. So I think it makes more sense to wait and get those shinies after Lost Isolith, uh, rather than go all the way out there and then come all the way back. That seems kind of silly to me. Um, so, okay, right. This is the area where we fought Fire Sage, uh, the demon Fire Sage. So the door to the shortcut to Lost Isolith is here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave it here for, for now. And then when we come back, we will go into Lost Isolith, and um, taking this path should allow me to save Solaire. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.